hello guys welcome back to NRCalc video tutorials in this video tutorial I'll show you how to design and analyze a continuous beam of material wood so I'll go to file I'll select new calc or I can select new project I'll select new project I will make sure that I have a name given I'll select simply supported beam actually let me select continuous beam I'll save it as continuous beam save once I'm over here I'll select the calculation tab and I'll select add so it adds a calculation new calculation to the calculation tab so I'll select add and in here in this video I'll make sure I select wood beam since we are looking at wood right now so as you see this whole window with summary results combinations moment shear deflection summary support reactions comes up so as you see over here you have save save only new all these options so for me to go for continuous beam what I'll do is I'll enter my description first continuous beam design method will be ASD and in design values I'll select my southern pine I'll select 2 inches greater than 4 inches thick or 2 inches and wider I'll select southern pine and number 2 let me select 12 inches wide number 2 so over here number 2 12 2 to 4 inches thick and 12 inches wide I'll select that I have my load loads I mean I have my uh, capacities shown over here for that members so in order to add so if you see beam span data you see their span length of 10 feet and there's only one span shown over there so in order to add one more span what I'll do is I'll select this plus symbol and I'll select add beam I'll select OK so it adds another span which is 10 feet so I can go to select second span and change its length to 6 feet and then again I can add one more span and I'll say add beam I'll select OK and I'll make sure that the third span is 10 feet and the second span is 6 feet this is just for representation purposes I have my deflection limits over here and my um, wood factors over here now that is done I'll make sure that auto calculate button is on so that as soon as you change any values uh, the results get updated I'll go to span loads in span 1 I'll have a UDL I'll say UDL in here you need to write wherever the load is coming from so if it is a point load that is coming from another beam on the top floor you just write it that coming from top floor like that and I can add in reality you need to add beam weight too because it has itself weight once that is done you can go to span 2 in beam span data I'll make sure that I select my southern pine 2 by 12 
and then I'll go to span loads in span 2 I'll apply a point load uh, let's say point two five kips and point four kips two hundred fifty and four hundred pounds nothing but and then I'll uh, apply it at a distance of let's say three feet on span two so it will be exactly in the center then I'll go to span three let me add a trapezoidal load so start location will be 2.5 feet and end location will be 7.5 feet the red load will start from point 0 0.025 to 0 0.1 and similarly point 0.4 to 0 0.1 these loads keep varying all the time like on floor we on floor we have 25 plf and 40 plf whereas uh, on roof we have 20 and 20 i mean it keeps varying all the time so you just need to make sure you enter your right loads and these loads are just for representation purposes i'll say trapezoidal load so as you can see these are barely failing so since I have these loads and there are many combinations ASD combinations reaction combinations and deflection combinations running so now that I have that I can go in here I can select auto select or I can select the member so if you see I select 2 by 14 it's passing but I need to make sure that I change this because this is just for 12 inches wide so yeah I can't do that so I'll what I can do is instead of having 1 2 by 12 I can have 2 2 by 12s if you scroll to the bottom you see over here 2 2 by 12s and if you look at the sketch there will be 2 I'll show you in 3D ok so there will be 2 basically uh, when I select 2 2 by 12s there will be 2 2 by 12 sandwiched and the load will be acting on both of them so that way this value gets decreased nothing but stress ratio which should be less than 1 and as you see the deflections they are within the limits everything is fine or you can select auto select when you do that you need to select southern pine and select the limits stress ratio deflection ratios width limits and depth limits and say start design and over here it comes up whichever member you wanna select so since it has 2 by 14 and 3 by 10 so we don't use these members we can use 2 2 by 10s so this will be very good and effective so this way you do a continuous beam in NR calc please comment below if you have any questions thank you for watching the video